Average days in inventory. Approximate number of days the average inventory is held, it equals 365 days divided by the inventory turnover ratio. Conservative accounting practices Practices that result in reporting lower income, lower assets, and higher liabilities. Current ratio Current assets divided by current liabilities measures the availability of current assets to pay current liabilities. Debt to equity ratio Total liabilities divided by stockholders' equity measures a company's solvency risk. This continued operation the sale or disposal of a significant component of a company's operations. Extraordinary item An event that is unusual in nature and infrequent in occurrence. Gross Profit Ratio Gross profit divided by net sales measures the amount by which the sale price of inventory exceeds its cost per dollar of sales. Growth stocks Stocks that have high expectations of future earnings growth and therefore usually trade at higher P.E. ratios. Horizontal analysis Analyzes trends in financial statement data for a single company over time. Inventory turnover ratio COGS divided by average inventory, the number of times the firm sells its average inventory balance during a reporting period. Liquidity refers to a company's ability to pay its current liabilities. Price-earnings ratio compares a company's share price with its earnings per share. Profit margin Net income divided by net sales indicates the earnings per dollar of sales. Profitability ratios Measure the earnings or operating effectiveness of a company. Quality of earnings refers to the ability of reported earnings to reflect the company's true earnings, as well as the usefulness of reported earnings to predict future earnings. Receivables Turnover Ratio Net credit sales divided by average accounts receivable, the number of times during a year that the Average accounts receivable balance is collected. Return on assets Net income divided by average stockholders' equity measures the income generated per dollar of equity. Return on equity Net income divided by average stockholders' equity measures the income generated per dollar of equity. Solvency 
refers to a company's ability to pay its long-term liabilities. Times Interest Earned Ratio Ratio that compares interest expense with income available to pay those charges. Value Stocks Stocks that have low a share prices in relationship to their fundamental ratios and therefore trade at lower P.E. ratios. Vertical analysis Expresses each item in a financial statement as a percentage of the same base amount, 